Welcome to a demonstration of the percussion drilling rig from Van Walt Limited. The first thing we're going to illustrate is the compactness of the kit. Uh, we've got a little pocket-sized SUV here and uh, in the back we've got everything we need for drilling down to a maximum of about 8 to 10 metres in variable conditions. So we've unpacked the car and uh, we have uh, some kit on the ground here. We've got the extension rods uh, from the far right, some gouges and a liner sampler some of the lost cone set, we'll get onto that as well. Uh, just a small packet of uh, equipment, just accessories for uh, drilling. Uh, here is the percussive drill and here is all of our extraction equipment ready to go. What we have now in front of us uh, is the percussive drill and a little half meter core. This is a 75 mil in diameter and we have the adapter uh, and uh, rope thread connections ready to go. So we're going to put this together and this is how we're going to start. We're going to drill a, a half meter hole. Some basic checks on the drilling equipment. Uh, we need to check that we have enough fuel in there. We have uh, a mix here so use the correct oil and it's a 1 to 50 mix. Uh, before operating this equipment it is very a very good idea to read through the instruction manual uh, and find out the do's and don'ts. Uh, but certainly use specified oil for the fuel mix and also we need a specified oil for the uh, lubrication for the percussive hammer. I will show you that in a second. The filler for the lubrication is in this yellow cap here and we need to check that and again fill it with specified grade oil. And you can see here the decompression switch will need that to start the unit so we need to make sure that is pushed in and then we want to prime the fuel give it some choke make sure the on off is in the on position and then we'll hold down the accelerator turn it on and as soon as it's wound up we'll give it some noise and let it settle down this is the rope thread connection and it's uh, anti-clockwise. As you can see, it's a very, very solid thread. It doesn't jam up easily. It's got uh, plenty of room for a little bit of dirt in there. And we wind that down, and that is a very quick and easy connection and very solid. Right, we're going to start with this half meter core. The handy part of the half meter gouge is that you don't have to lift the equipment quite so high. But uh, here it is. We've got the adapter placed on top. We're going to start the machine. Always best to start the machine uh, either on the kit or on some on a plate here, just to stop uh, stuff from coming up inside the unit. As you can see, I was just pulling a, a little bit of tension anti-clockwise to keep the rope threads nice and tight and get full percussion on top of the gouge. Now we're just going to lift this off. And so now I'm ready to extract the core that we've put in there. I'm going to remove the adapter so I can put an extension rod on here and we can extract the kit. Uh, when using the Stilsons, not on any of the working parts, uh, just in places where they don't interact with any other part of the equipment. Uh, 
and I want to go clockwise now because it's a there we go, that's loose. See that comes apart really nicely, the rope thread, as soon as it's broken open, nice and easy. So adapter off. Extension rod on. start building the platform to pull this up. And this is our clamp, so this sits inside here, and now we can pull these levers up and down and extract the whole system. This gouge is now held up by the clamp inside, so just remember that if, when you release the clamp that it is possible that things can fall back down the hole again. So this is doing its job at the moment. So this is our first half metre core and uh, we can inspect that. Or we can take this away, we can take samples and send them away to be analysed. But essentially that is our top layer and we're now going to go further down with another gouge. We're going to go with a metre gouge this time. So with our next sampler, we, uh, we want to take a core, we want to take a full length core so that we can take that back with us and analyse it. Um, this is a core sampler, this is an undisturbed core sampler, and so there are a couple of options on this. We can either uh, fit a solid liner inside this core, or we can use a flexible liner, a foil liner, and we've got one set up here already. So we have essentially a big sausage that's all rolled up and ready to go and that's going to sit inside here and as the core corer goes down it's going to push against this cap and will fill up this foil liner. So that's what we're going to use next, we'll just prime that ready to go and here's our cutting head.
full sample. Uh, am I still in shot? Yep, central. These are the samplers we used on site, up close and personal, starting at the back here, the liner sampler, the little half metre by 75mm window sampler, and the bigger one metre by 75mm, 60mm, 50 and 40 Conditions on site were quite challenging. The sediment was a very fine compact silt, and so we used to the full advantage of the stepwise system with the smaller gouges. So, as you know, we started with the little half metre. We took a core sample, a linered sample, at the one and a half metre point, and then we progressed downwards, getting ever smaller to make our life a little bit easier as we moved down through the horizons. Just a couple of other things that we didn't get to use on site. We have the wee core catcher here. This is designed to be used with the liner sampler and uh, if you're sampling sediments which are particularly loose and not cohesive we can install that inside here and the sampler can drive through and of course nothing can push back down the hole. So that is a useful little gadget. Also we have the lost cone system here. So this is a hollow casing and we've got the cone attached at the bottom end here and we would drive this in and the cone gets left at the bottom, what we can do with this empty, with this hollow casing, we can install a monitoring well. Uh, this is a little sample of a screen, this is 32mm in diameter, uh, slotted screen section. We can install that inside the hollow casing, and then we can extract the casing, leaving the well and the lost cone behind. Lastly, we can demonstrate the minimal impact this equipment has on site. As we pack up you can see there's very little evidence of us having been there other than a backfilled hole in the middle of the screenshot.